Good day, friends. It is me, H.O. My Tech, and I'm back with another episode of my tested series. Today, friends, we have got the Uru Multi Purpose V Log Microphone. It is model number UCM 11PL. Friends, let's go see what's in the box. All right, friends, so we got a slide out tab and boom. Card from the company, the manual, which we'll check out in a minute. Tripod. Connector cable. The actual microphone. Connector for a cell phone. And the LED light. Let's check out the manual quick. It's got the features, simple plug and play, rugged construction, compatible with DSLR, smartphone, or consumer camcorders. It is a compact on-camera microphone, has adjustable lightness, video light, pro shotgun microphone, no battery required for power, includes the mini tripod, phone clamp, and video light like we saw. And it has wind foam and the TRS cable and the TRS to TRS adapter. Under the specs, electric condenser, super cardioid, 50 hertz to 14 kilohertz, negative 40 decibels, plus or minus 3 decibels, signal to noise ratio of 70 decibels, max SPL of 130 decibels, and then once again the cable has TRRS audio with 3.5 millimeter plug and there's an adapter TRRS to TRS. There is the frequency response and the polar pattern. Alrighty friends, so right now we are recording with the 3D printer behind us only about 4 feet. Nobody in their right mind should ever use this microphone with something that noisy beside them. But since we had the test, we can tell the difference between when it was there and when it wasn't there. And right now you'll hear what the phone is picking up compared to what the mic picks up when we plug it in a minute. So I think it might be actually a pretty cool project. So let's plug in the mic and see what it sounds like with it attached instead. All right, so once again, this microphone has got a polar pattern that keeps the sound from behind from getting picked up by the mic as the mic is facing me. So this is a pretty good test with that annoying 3D printer making noise behind us and me still trying to record up here. We'll be able to get some footage where you can compare how my voice sounds pre having the microphone and post. And of course, friends, this is what it's like with the lighting turned on. Um, I do not have anything to test the levels of like what is best for this. Uh, I haven't messed with lighting before, so this is kind of a first time for me. Uh, I can tell you that right now I cannot see the phone. It is crazy bright. But we'll also be able to test the audio and see how the microphone is picking me up despite the distance we are away. So let's take it to the editor and see what we got. Alrighty friends, so let's quickly run through what they mentioned in the specs. Uh, on camera, shotgun microphone, it did work like a champ. Attached to the phone, I don't have a camera to attach it to. Um, plug and play LED light, that was super simple. It's easy to dial it to the number that you want. If you've got somebody working with you, that is a slick way for you to get the lighting the exact way that you want. I was just guessing, but it worked good with the green screen. It has universal compatibility, great with your smartphone, DSLR, uh, also with your PC using the little adapter that is included. They do mention that you should download open camera to do your recording so that way you can choose external mic on my Galaxy S9 when I plugged it in and hit record I could see that it was going to use the external mic but that is something you want to make sure you're aware of like they say it includes all the adapters if you want to run it from a PC tablet all the different ways don't forget that little tiny one that was hiding in the box I did pull that out later so if we look over at the images they mentioned their cardioid polar pattern try and say that five times fast and it did work uh, there was less noise than we had down in front mentioned that there is no battery they show you the tiny little adapter that I had to pull out later. It is compatible with your DSLR camera or your phone or your PC. They do mention they don't give you the adapter for the newer iPhones. Uh, make sure you have your own uh, when you're going to do that. Once again, the kits, it was Mike, the wind phone, the TRRS to TRS adapter, the TRS cable, phone clamp, tripod, and that sweet little LED that lit the world up. 
Alrighty friends, so after giving it a quick test, I found it pretty doggone useful uh, the way I'm always running printers and stuff. It's slick to be able to set up a mic, do a recording, and not have to worry about that background noise. Friends, if you found the video useful, make sure you give it a like. If you've got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.